Hey guys. Hey, hey, hey. It's your coach, Carla Nicole. Hope everybody is doing well and wonderful. Listen, this is uh, Friday and um, I had a really good conversation today about, um, you know, just gentlemen dealing with um, just love, <laughs> love and relationships. And um, so I've had a couple men that kind of um, has been in the balance with their lady. Like they've been in the balance with knowing if a woman truly is in love with him or just kind of in love with um, what he has to offer. And so for me as a coach, I got to make sure that I'm crystal clear about understanding that no matter what woman you get with, it could be a woman in your race or out of your race. It doesn't matter, gentlemen, I'm giving you this raw truth. We have been all conditioned to believe that men come to our rescue. Men are here to rescue us. And we understand that and have understood that since, since very young. Even fatherless women believe that. So um, this is something that I've been really working with my clients about. But I thought I'd come live because I've had many men that kind of jumped, <laughs> jumped literally into uh, love affairs with women that they're trying to make significant in their life prematurely. And the reason why they're frustrated is because these gentlemen are feeling like this woman is really here for me. She really supports me. But a lot of times what the men are missing is they are really designating their space in your life so that they can benefit from you and what you're driven to become. Or even if you've already established who you are and already established what your, your, your purpose is, a lot of times the women are in your life so that they can reap the benefits. It's what it is. I don't care what culture that you hit or decide to entertain, if you will. If you decide, hey, I'm going to go outside my race and, and date a woman over here, or I'm going to date a woman over there, you can't escape the fact that most most women have been conditioned that a man is going to rescue them. They have men. It's what it is. So unfortunately, there's a lot of women lazy when it comes to being about her own purpose, honey. And I'm going to put you up on game with something. A lot of times women are lazy with their own purpose because they want a man to go ahead and just work their thing. They're wanting a man to take care of them. What's up, Satori? They're wanting a man to take care of them. But I don't care what race of woman you pick. You can pick a woman that is Caucasian, a woman that's Asian, a woman that's black, a woman that's a African. You can go to any place geographically you can find because you're trying to avoid having to deal with the fact that a woman is going to want you to take care of her, but you're not going to find it unless you find a woman that is basically evolved. She's trying to be in her own purpose. She's driven to be in her own things that she's trying to accomplish in herself so that in and of itself is a cue it that that woman is not with you because basically she's wanting to gain from what you are purposeful in okay so I had a really good conversation today and so I felt it was very important that I talk to you gentlemen so that you understand okay so a lot of men are frustrated because they jumped into the lust of the woman. They jumped into the sex and how pretty she is. And now they're wanting to make her his wife and wanting to make him make, make that woman significant. And I'm like, slow your roll, pardon, wait a minute. Before you jump into designating a woman as significant in your life, you need to make sure she is with you and not with you for what you bring to her life. Does that make sense to you? Am I making sense? Capiche what I'm saying? Because men, you are jumping into these relationships with these women and you're not understanding that, hey, wait a minute. Is she really with me because she is into me 
or is she into the benefits of being with me? Okay, I want that to simmer in the mind for a minute. Okay, so it is okay to be excited about a woman and she brings you this newfound you and you're excited about that woman and all of that is good. I get it. Trust me. The lust is real. I understand that. But I'm trying to get you to understand that even if you're frustrated with your own race, your own woman that you are like, you know, geographically connected to, you are all African American, your your African American women that is next to you or black woman that you are concerned with how she's not really equipped and measuring up to what you think is right. Even if you go outside of your own culture, baby boy, understand that's still in the mindset that is across the board most women feel a man is going to come in and rescue her based upon what he can give and provide for her financially psychologically emotionally this is just what it is so i'm trying to express to you gentlemen to slow your roles real quick before you start to wanting to put a woman as your primary lady or your primary woman or your significant other hold hold on a minute and study her see when i tell y'all to study you don't want to listen to me i'm trying to put you up on game what study means study is just not reading books but also reading about that lady you in bed with every night first of all what's her culture about did you study this woman did you pay attention and i'm talking about not just culturally based upon her race but what else is she about? What What is her familial background? What does she understand from her familial understanding in her family? What does her family teach her? What has she learned about the importance of men? A lot of women ain't really loving men properly. I'm just going to put it out there. They're not. They're loving a man based upon what he can do for her. Not necessarily loving that man per se. Am I under are you understanding what I'm saying? So a, a woman may love what you do and what you bring in her life, but she may not be loving all, all about loving you per se. The reason why I'm talking about this is because a lot of men are coming in my inbox really frustrated about their relationships they're in. They're confused as to why a woman would say, and this is a man that I'm very close to. He inboxed me today and said, why would a woman tell me that I'm too good for her? Why would she say that to me? And I told him very crystal clear. A woman's going to tell you and show you who she is. So you got to believe her. So basically what she's saying is you're very purposeful. You're very driven. You're very dedicated to your mission and what you're trying to do, right? He said, yes. Okay. She is not purposeful. A woman that's purposeful and really driven into her own and what she's and trying to become her supreme self, a woman is driven to that when she is, she is going to match your grit, your grind, your desire to be the higher self. If she is not, she's going to be intimidated by your grind, your grit, your driven to being in your higher self. She's going to be intimidated by that. Okay, well, you see what I'm saying? So if a woman is intimidated by you and your grit, your grind, your desire to be in your higher purpose, that goes to show you why. So you don't want to inter interlock your life with a woman that is not purposeful in the same grit and grind that you are in. Because if you do, she's going to continually feel like she's not sufficient enough, which then... If you have any other women in your space, she's going to become jealous of. This is the real shit. This is why I try to put y'all up on game and stuff. She's going to become jealous of. She's also going to tell you that I can't do everything you can do. That means that you're not really driven to becoming your higher self and supreme in your supreme being. And with that said, that means you're just lazy. <laughs> That's all it means. You're just lazy. You don't feel like doing all of that. That's your right. We have a free will to do what we so want to do and choose. But if you are a purposeful man and you're driven to do certain things for your life, a woman that comes into your life and tells you, mm, I'm not really, you you know, you're really smart and you really do, looks like to me, you really want to be somebody and, and I don't know if I'm going to measure up. I'm not that woman for you. Believe her. Believe her, honey. 
accept that as a very big gift with a bow on top. Because at the end of the day, if you're purposeful, you're driven to become your higher self as a man, you get with a woman that is not as driven to become her higher self. She's not going to only be a hindrance to you. She's going to then eventually become full of drama. She's going to bring you all kinds of drama, baby. I'm telling you. It's going to be a lot of drama. It's going to be a lot of headache. And you're going to wonder, where's all this coming from? Well, in her own mind, she's insufficient. Okay? And you are of high sufficiency. Okay? So when you have an insufficient woman and a high sufficient man trying to partner, she's going to eventually try to drag you down. Okay? And in her drag down, she's going to bring you and hand you a lot of drama. She's going to hand you a lot of headache. She's going to hand you a lot of frustration because she doesn't want you to become higher than she is. And she's already you're already higher than her. And she's intimidated by that. You get what I'm saying, gentlemen? I'm trying to put y'all up on game with something. I see a lot of y'all get caught up in the pretty, in the gorgeous, in the hot, and sexy. And the sex is so good, I get it. Trust me, I get it. Listen, all I'm telling you, I'm not telling you to stop sexing the lady, if that's what you so choose. But what I'm telling you is you don't want to interlock your life with her. <laughs> you don't want to make her your wife, is what I'm telling you. You don't want to make her your significant other or part of your women pack if you're in the poly world. You don't want to bring her on in to that group. She's not that chick. When a woman tells you and shows you who she is, believe her, baby boy. It's what it is. Don't second guess it. Don't think, oh, no, that's not true. That's what she told you. Believe her. Trust me. When a woman tells you that she's not sufficient or that she's really not where she needs to be and she's intimidated by your supreme being and you being purposely driven to be your higher self, that's a problem long term, baby boy. I'm just trying to put you up on game. You don't want to bring her in as a significant woman. I'm not telling you to stop sexing her. That's up to you. But what I am telling you is don't legally bind with her. Don't do it. Don't legally bind with this lady. Actually, you want to be mindful as a purposeful driven man that a woman is also as purposeful in her in her own right. I said a long time ago that it's very imperative that you may want to connect with a woman in a business agreement. And I say this on purpose. Okay, anything I advise or suggest is for a reason. I'm not telling you to do something without a reason behind it. Why I said it's important to consider getting with a woman in a business agreement, it shows you her grit. It shows you her grind. It shows you, is this woman really dedicated to a joint mission with me? Or is it just about me and what I can do? What can you do for us as a team? Problem is, a lot of women don't want to be on the team. They just want to reap the benefits of what you're doing and want to sit pretty and sex you up all night. That's all cool, but that's not going to pay no bills, though. You feel what I'm talking about? So I'm trying to put y'all up on game with something that is important for men to understand. I don't care what culture you get with. I don't care what, how fine, how sexy, how much better she is as a woman. Most women across the board have been conditioned to believe men are here to rescue them. And most of the time, if they want a man to rescue them, they are lazy in their own purpose. They have no desire to learn to do for themselves because they got you to take care of that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Make sure y'all brothers and, and y'all men share this because a lot of y'all don't know this piece. You think that a woman is sexing you and looking pretty for you because she's trying to turn you on and that's true. But what you're missing is you're getting caught up and swooped up and all in lust over a woman, over how good she looks and how sexy she is and how good the sex is. But you're missing an intricate part about her lack of purpose in her life. She's not drawn to her purpose. She's not concerned about her purpose. She's not, she don't even want to consider anything about self-growth or learning of herself because she has you to take care of her. And this, my love is why most women are lazy in relationships and just want to reap the benefits of what you're giving and driving to do in your purpose. So, 
with that said, I just want to let you know that um, the cue for men to pay attention to is if a woman really, really wants to be with you because of you, then you are all she needs. She don't give a damn about your bank account. She don't care about what you're doing with your, with your businesses and stuff. She's not all prying to see what she has to gain with being with you. She just wants to be with you, period. It's not about your bank account. It's not because that's not what she's drawn to you over. She's drawn to you over who you are. What a man comes to the table with isn't always about financial stability. Sometimes men can draw you and pull you into your supreme self by making you, by challenging you, by giving you more hope and, ex and giving you examples of what you can become in your own right. Men have a bigger purpose than just protection and financial stability. Men have a higher purpose than that. But we have only been taught that men are good for sex and good for financial growth. That's it. Other than that and protection. And other than that, we don't really need them. We need our girlfriends to fill in the blanks for us. Problem is, I want women to understand that it takes more than that. Long term, sex and pretty isn't going to sustain a purposeful driven man. It's not. I don't care how pretty you are. I don't care how good at sex you are. Most of the time, it doesn't matter, not long term, because when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, they're going to look for what can a woman do in her own right that's going to help move me into wanting to win this, this game in life. I, I know many men just want to win. They want to win. They want to become their higher selves. They want to win at what they're trying to do in their life. And if they don't have a woman trying to do the same... It's hard to build a solid foundation to grow and blossom and build what you're trying to do. So this is where we were not taught. Most women were not taught men are not just for rescue. Men are also here to prepare you for if they're not here. See, we don't talk about that part. Men are provisional for a reason. Men want to look out for their woman and make, and make sure that she's okay if something happens to him. I talked about this on my last live. Most men are not only thinking about the right now. They're thinking about 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. They're thinking about their retirement and how they can make sure you guys are sustained. But again, if you don't have a woman that's also thinking the same way, you're oftentimes with a leech that is only trying to reap the benefits of your social, secu your social security check and your pension. <laughs> that's just what it is. As long as I have the pretty and the good sex, he's going to put me on his stuff. <laughs> That's what it is. And I don't care what race of woman you pick. I don't care what woman you choose. Let me tell you something. We have all been taught, including myself included, that you can reap the benefits of a man. It's what it is. If she gets your last name, baby boy, she getting your check. <laughs> it's what it is. So when you sit down and really look at that, you got to be like, well, does this woman want to be with me for me, for what I'm coming to the table with, or is she wanting to be with me because of what she can benefit from? I'm just saying, listen, I'm just trying to look out for you gentlemen so you understand why it is the way it is. We've been taught that men rescue. So it's hard for us to come up out of the mindset to, hey, we got to look out for our God blessed selves. We got to look out for ourselves. We got to make sure we're good with or without a man. And if you pay attention, when it comes down to divorce and separation, we have to look at, well, what are you separating, right? When you legally bind with somebody, what are we separating? And pay attention, gentlemen, when it comes down to it, what does she leave the last one for? How did she leave him? Did she leave with any care? Or did she only care about what she can't stands to gain? It doesn't change in this game right here. If she was concerned more about what she stood to gain when she was leaving the last one, understand if you two separate, that's going to be the same mindset. It's not about you. It's about what she's standing to gain. So you have to pay attention to this. This is why I always constantly tell gentlemen that I coach. You can't sit around and be nonchalant about what you got and how much you're spending. I'll take care of you. That's dangerous. That's real dangerous. 
because most women are waiting for a man to rescue them out of their out of their uncertain uh future uncertain uh future with their finances and their their pension and stuff they may not have that in place so they're looking for somebody to, to securely rescue them and look out for them so gentlemen please be mindful that if you really are looking and being psychologically sound when it comes to being involved with a woman you want to study her not just study all of her crevices of her skin and her body and what makes her tick but study her culture how was she raised what's her relationship like with her daddy how does she separate from her ex did she separate trying to get everything from him or did she walk with him with peace and respect and didn't down his name what did she do when she left him things you got to think about look in the medicine cabinets brothers like are you paying attention what has she got going in her body as far as medicines are concerned that stuff matters again i try to put y'all up on game so you understand this stuff man this is real i'm just you know i'm your coach i'm just trying to help you out if you really want some individual help with this because you're really struggling with even your partner choices or you keep finding yourself in a situation where you keep getting the same woman different area code because you keep choosing the same type of woman inbox me i'm just an inbox away we can have a conversation listen real 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 jewels i'm gonna tell you something real 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 um specific right here most men meet a woman and they get swooped up with her and they separate from her and they get right back with the same woman but a different area code or a different race but it's the same woman because he hasn't changed his taste Men, your taste matters. What you like, what you're driven by matters. If you like that spicy chick that always moving her neck around and cussing you out and slapping you on the face and all that, you like that, that's what you're going to continue to get. Whether you change races or not, whether you change area codes or not, you're going to get the same woman every time, honey. Every time. It's not going to change. I'm, I'm just here to tell you, okay? That's, that's very, very important for you to understand and know. If you need to change some things with how you're choosing the partner or partners you're with, inbox me, okay? I, I'm just an inbox away. And like I said, I, I, I listen, the wisdom subscription is reasonable right now, but the, the price is getting ready to change. I'm getting ready to up the prices, so understand that. You better take advantage of it now because the prices are going to go up. But right now, I don't mind helping you through it. But I want you to understand that every time you choose a woman this way, you're going to continue to get a woman to use you. And you're going to continue to get a woman that only wants you for what you have to offer, not for you. If a woman really, really wants to be with you, you can have very little and be so much of an asset in her life. She'll stand by you. And that's what you want. You don't want these women that are only about what you can provide financially. A real woman and a woman that's sound minded and wants to be uh, her supreme self. She got her own baby boy. She got her own. <laughs> it's just what it is. And you are just an asset in her life. Not because of what you bring financially, but because of who you are in her life and what you mean to her. She values you, not values what you can bring to her. I hope I helped somebody today. Make sure you, s listen, share this video. More people need to hear this truth. More gentlemen need to get on board with understanding if you don't, you're going to continue to have a woman in your life that doesn't really care about you, only cares about what you're bringing to the table. And for me, I really want more men to have fulfilling love affairs and fulfilling love to where they feel valued and I can only get you to that level by really encouraging you to evaluate the woman differently rather than just evaluating them based upon how good the sex is and how pretty she is. I'm just saying. Okay, guys. This is your coach, Carla Nicole. I'm signing off, guys. Best kept. Take care. Bye.